Hi. Yes. Okay, this is a speaking test. Hello and welcome to our practice exam. My name is Katie and I'm your practice examiner. The questions of the test are designed to stimulate the IELTS speaking test. Let's start. What's your name, please? My name is Princess Nzam. Thanks, Princess. And at the beginning of the test, you will be required to provide some ID. But at the moment, since this is only a practice test, we don't need to do that today. I want to begin by talking about you. Do you live in an urban or rural town? I live in a rural town. It's located in the outskirts of Lagos, Nigeria. It's a well-organized place with a nice environment and wonderful neighbors. Thank you. Do you see yourself living in a city in the future? Yes, I do see myself living in the city in the future because my plans and goals has gone in conjunction with the environment where I live in. And I would love my kids to also be part of a civilized um, environment. So, yeah. Okay, sorry. Why do people live in rural areas? There are so many advantages of living in rural areas compared to urban areas. One of them is um, exposure, access to um, healthcare facilities, access to um, building materials where you can pursue your dreams. Because in the urban areas, you can't really get um, the things you need, especially when you have visions and plans so living in um, a rural area gives a lot more exposure compared to the urban thank you and what jobs are available in rural areas there are a lot of jobs available in rural areas like um good and equipped hospitals for um Depends on what you want to do. But for example, there are also um, oil companies, better um, supermarkets, where you can go in and get everything you want. Um, for people that are into teaching jobs, they can get um, a good and well-paid jobs in a good schools and a whole lot of them. They are beautiful restaurants with great ambience. So yeah, there are a lot of jobs mm -hmm. you can get in this. Okay, let's move on to the topic of seaside. Do you often go to the seaside? Yes, I do often go to the seaside. Whenever, during my leisure times, and whenever I want to cool off from work, I do go to the seaside. Okay. Why do people like spending time by the beach? Well, beaches gives um, a good sense of warmth. Um, it has beautiful views. There are fresh airs. You get to see um, and feel the natural um, water, natural breeze. It's just beautiful. It's, I don't know, it's personally, in, going to the beach makes me happy and I really enjoy going to the beach. Now, I want to talk about dentist. Do you mind visiting the dentist? No, I do not mind visiting the dentist. It is required of us at least once in three months to visit the dentist to the floors and check out um, our, our gums. And generally, it's good for the oral health. Hmm. Well, where are some people nervous about the dentist? I think um, one of the reasons why people would be nervous going to the dentist would be the outcome because some people might have um, problems with their teeth and might be scared of going through the process of removing them. So, and also people that don't keep um, good oral hygiene. So yeah, they might be a little bit nervous going to the dentist. Okay, thank you. Very good. Is visiting the dentist expensive in your country? Yes, it is. 
given the fact that there are lots of foods that can put people at risk of having um dentures so yeah going to the dentist is yeah it is it is very important in my country great great thank you now i'm gonna give you the topic this topic long lasts for about one to two minutes based of your speaking you have one minute to prepare and one to two minutes to answer okay you don't have to worry if i stop you and i will ask you the same questions into discussion part number three your one minute start now a difficult choice i had to make was where i chose to study yes this choice um this choice was made in 2015 i had the option of going to the united states or choosing a country that i had to study now, um, when I when my mom started processing the application, I had, didn't have patience. I was young and naive. I didn't have enough patience to wait for January session. I wanted to go in to start school in September. So my mom had to tell me, okay, if you have any country you want to study, you can just tell me. And I chose to go to Cameroon, which was one of the worst decisions I, I ever made. It was tough because I was desperate to start, um, start um, my college. But then, because seeing my friends go to school every day was exhausting and humiliating. Knowing that I've tried, I passed all my exams. I just wasn't given admission. So I just wanted to go to school. But then it was a really tough decision and I had to make one. I was with my friend at the time when I made the decision. I could remember I was in the room when I was called to decide where I wanted to study. And it was really, really tough, but I still had to make that decision. It was, this choice was difficult because there, are, there were so many options. Thinking about it right now, I can remember that there, I can, I can remember vividly that there, there, were, there were other better and more um, good options that I would have chosen. But me deciding to go there was out of desperation. And if I could go back in time, I would choose, I would make a better choice and a better decision. So yeah, that's, that was a really, really difficult choice that I had to make growing up. Thank you. It was really great. Now let's talk about making decision. What type of difficult decision do governments have to make? Okay, um, one of the difficult decisions governments have to make is choosing between um, things to do. For example, you have um, healthcare facilities, increasing um, the jobs, increasing the salaries of healthcare personnel, and building roads. Mm -hmm. Now, both of them are important because bad roads lead to road traffic accidents. Healthcare, facility, healthcare personnel needs an increase to work because if you're not getting paid enough, you won't enjoy working. So now imagine giving them these two options to choose from. Of course, they wouldn't look at health, increasing healthcare personnel salary because they know they would benefit more in um, building infrastructures. So yeah, I think this is one of the difficult, one of difficult decisions that they have to make. And up to now, we are still lacking behind in okay. our salary. So. Thank you. Great. Should young people be given more decision powers? No, absolutely not. Young people shouldn't be given more mm -hmm. because me using myself as a um for instance, if I I looking back, I wish my my parents made the decision for me because I regret it every day. Giving young people the, um, choices and giving them the right to make decisions will most definitely ruin them uh, on the long run because at that time, they, they're not exposed. They don't really know the right from the wrong. They don't know the benefits. They will just choose based on what they want at that time. They won't really think about the effect it has on their future. So I don't think it's right to give kids, to give young people um, the right to make decisions. Okay, thank you. And uh, why are elections important? Oh, elections are very important in society because it gives the, the people in that community the chance to make 
a decision. Being um not being democratic would suppress people's ideas and visions and um plans. Imagine deciding, okay, um the governor of a state has to be family wise, and then you can't change it, you can't you can't voice out. These people will keep on humiliating people, will keep on making decisions that that just benefits them. But when you give um people the right to choose to make a decision, it helps them. And let it be that they tried. Let it be let's let's see let it be like they tried to change the system of government and they like they couldn't rather than imposing it on them so yeah people should have the right to vote great grace thank you very much that's the end of our speaking test okay so thank you for participating in this i will stop